and welcome to Real Life with Andrea. Today has been a day full of mind drilling questions. So, I was just thinking about truth. I had watched a video and people were talking about truth is subjective. I have my truth and you have your truth. And so I begin to mull that over in my mind because I know that there is truth. There is an ultimate truth that we have that we weigh everything against. Morality, all those things. I believe that. But how do you communicate to people that there is a difference between something that has truth, that is truth, right or wrong, and then things that are kind of, well, yeah, you can decide whether you like that or you don't like that. That's, that is your truth. You like lasagna. I hate lasagna. Those are our truths, right? And, and so as we start to muddy all the waters with everything, not everything has one truth, but there are things that do have one truth. For example, I'm going to hit a hot topic right now. I am a girl. I am a female. I was born a female. I will die a female. And there is nothing that I can do to change the fact that I am female. Now, that's the truth. Do I feel some days like I don't want to be a female? Yep. Do I feel some days like I don't want to be an adult? Yep. Do I feel some days like being a parent is just too hard? I don't want to do it. Yep. But I don't give in to those feelings. Those are my feelings. And those might be my truth in the moment where I truly feel this way. But the truth of the matter is, the ultimate truth is, I am a female. I am a mother. I am an adult. And therefore, I cannot live in those other feelings. When did we start letting people indulge these feelings that we have when we are unhappy, when we're overwhelmed, when something doesn't go our way, when we think life is unfair and we think, well, if I was a man, that wouldn't have happened to me. So maybe I should just be a man. Or people tell me all the time that I think more like a man than a woman like I'm more I tend to be more logical less emotional than most women and believe it or not though you wouldn't notice that on these things I do talk less than most women can I talk yes but I don't talk just for the sake of talking well you know so does that make me a man no it doesn't I am a woman God made me a woman. I was born with everything that makes me a woman. And so I'm a woman and there's nothing that I can do to change it. And that's the truth. For those people out there who are confused, I feel sad for them because nobody has come alongside them and said to them, why do you feel this way? And let's get to the root of that. Because nine times, 90 probably a hundred times out of a hundred. There's a reason why you feel that way. And if you were to address that issue and embrace the person that God made you to be, you would feel better about yourself most of the time because you will still have days. You will feel better about your life. You will be more productive. You won't waste time on these emotions that are going to take you down a path that is going to fuel the flame of discord and discontent in your own personal life and so many people have found that changing your gender or what you think you are does not actually make things better those still things still hold true for you I would actually not like to be a man all the time because the reality is in our gender roles and we do have God-given gender roles the man's job is a lot harder than the woman's job if we are being biblically minded. And I don't want that. Do I want equality? Yes, I do. What does equality mean? Well, to me, and I think that this is true, equality means that everyone, whether it does not depend on race, it does not depend on gender, okay? Every person should 
be measured according to their abilities to do the job, their character, their stick to it -ness, their mindfulness, all about who they are and not at all about what color they are or what gender they are. We have a workforce that cannot do the job and does not want to do the job because we have to have equality. Equality does not mean, the, the way that the equality is being defined currently, it isn't equality. It means that if we have 10 people, we need to have five men and five women. We need to have two black, two Hispanic, two white, that's six, two Indian and two whatever. Like, it needs to be equal, right? That is that is mathematically equal. That is not equality for the human race. We all need to be paid the same. Do we? Because if I don't do as good a job as you do, you should be compensated for the hard work that you put in. This country was founded on the idea that anybody can do anything they want to do if they do the work, right? So if I go to Walmart to get a job and I work all the hours and I, and I work the whole thing, I take my break like I'm supposed to, I help the customers, I have a smile and I have joy and the person next to me comes to work and they don't really do much, they stand around and talk all day long they have a bad attitude, they push the customers off on somebody else. Should we both be getting paid the same amount? Should we be having the same review? Should the other person get promoted over me? No, because everything should be weighted on the person's character and ability to do the job, willingness to do the job, their experience etc. Now I know that that's a tough cycle to shift, but if people would stop and think about it and do what they can to get experience, better themselves, start at the bottom, not think that you're going to start at the top, stop thinking about you're going to get a quick buck, life is growth. And throughout your life, and if your parents did you a disservice and they didn't teach you these things, it's not too late to start. Get the experience, start at the ground level, move yourself up because there is a lot to be said for people who want to learn, who want to work, who get out there and they want to better themselves. These are the kind of people that deserve the job. I don't deserve to be an electrician and I cert you certainly wouldn't want me to be your doctor for the sake of equality but I should be able to be a doctor I should be able to be a doctor just because you should be able to be a doctor just because you want to be that's not how life works and when we start looking at it as that we are literally continuing to oppress the people all of us and I'm not saying that I'm more oppressed than anybody else or even that I might be less oppressed than other people. That's fine. I, I don't want to get into the race issue specifically because that can be complicated. But if we all were to take the stand that we, that things should happen because of merit, not because I'm in a particular family, not because I'm a specific gender, not because I'm a specific race, not because of anything except my merit, my character, my willingness and ability to do the job, then we would be in a better place. Everyone would be in a better place because I believe that that's what equality is. Equality is that everybody is going to be measured according to their person and that we would get paid according to that, according to our work ethic, according to what we're willing to put in, 
Um, now, do I think that there should be parameters around that? Certainly, I think that the minimum wage is important. I think that I think that big business can take advantage of people that are at the lower income levels. I I, I agree with all of that. Um, and as much as uh, I you know believe that equality is what I've just described, I again I do think that there need to be parameters in place to help protect people who can't protect themselves or they don't know how to protect themselves um, and so in that there needs to be some provision but the whole idea that we just include people so that we can have the numbers that we need to have of the types of people that we need to have is hurting our country there are so many qualified people out there of every race and gender that could do jobs that they can't get because they're going to underqualified people in order to fill the race card or the gender card. And that's hurting our country and that's hurting our economy and that's hurting the people around us. What are we going to do about it? Think about that. Thank you for joining us today. If you'd like this video, hit a thumbs up. If you don't agree, I know that there will be a lot of people who don't agree with me on this. It is a difficult issue and sometimes we avoid the hot topics just because we don't want to get conflict or whatever. I love that we live in a country where we are free to think what we want to think. Um, but I do hope that people are waking up to the idea that they really need to give uh, deeper thought to some of these things that we've taken for granted for so many years. We have a constitution in the United States that makes provision that all people are created equal and I believe that. I don't believe that all people have been treated equal. I believe that all people were created equal and that it is in our human fallacy that these things called these issues of race and these issues of gender have come up. But it's time for all of us of every race and of, every, and of each gender, there's only two, of each gender to stand up and speak the truth and, and stop living in somebody else's warped reality of where we need to go from here. I'm not erasing history. History is what history is and racism has been an issue since the beginning of time really um, and well I don't know maybe not the beginning of time but certainly in this country race has been an issue for a very long time slavery has been an issue around the world for all of eternity and and, and I don't I don't condone those things but we can't change history we can only change our future so let's stop living in the past let's use the past as a tool to make changes for the future if you agree give me a thumbs up if you disagree you can go ahead and thumbs down me that's okay you won't hurt my feelings thanks for joining me as always it's a pleasure sharing my thoughts i think more people should do so Remember though, when you're sharing your thoughts and feelings, please be respectful and mindful that anybody can see this content and that there are a lot of young people watching, looking for information that they're not getting from other places as, as things are failing, the education system is failing them and they want more truth. They are desiring and craving truth from those people that they trust the most. Be a person that can be trusted, speak truth be logical, look at the issues. We're not solving any problems. We're creating more the way that we've been going. Thanks for listening. We'll see you soon.